Hello, Bumpy Mix Quiggums here, and it's time to continue with my Let's Play of XCOM Long War. This is episode 42, and we're just gonna hop in and scan for some activity. We will see a whole plethora of people return to us, and apparently there is a UFO available. He's a newbie. I think I'm gonna let it go. I don't want to lose that one yet. Maybe in the future he'll be able to do something. Ooh, it landed. Maybe in the future he'd be able to actually do something, but since he landed, I guess that kind of solves the issue, doesn't it? Alright, I'm going to kind of clear out a lot of these people. And... I'm not going to bring a medic along because those are a valuable commodity. I am going to bring a red shirt along. And I don't think we have any more male peeps. So no more men to be amazing. Um, What about Hadia Okoro? Yeah, I think we'll bring her along. Alright, so her brother's already in the squad, so... We'll get the sister. We know it's a, we know it's a good family. It's fine. So we have an infantry, a medic, a rocketeer, an assault, and a red shirt. Let's see what else we can add to the squad. Let's see here. I don't want to bring another another rocketeer, a gunner. We're gonna use Rasen Ghoul. There we go. And what else? What else? What else? We don't have a sniper, do we? All right. Well, let's bring let's bring Naruto Luxray. I don't think. Naruto has seen combat yet, so we'll do that. We'll make items available, and we'll continue from here. Okay, so flanx armor. We're going to give the pistol away. And we're going to go with, oh, I guess the scope. And a battle scanner. I don't know. I don't know. That's fine. All right, so we're going to roll out with that. We're going to go to our next individual, Rasen Ghoul, and we're going to go and load out Gatling Laser, Piercing Ammo, Bipod, and we are see it. Then we have our Sergeant Mejor. We're going to, of course, load him out with some amazing stuff as well. I think he can actually use a scope. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Let's see. Who's next? Uh, we're going to clear out... Lance Elliot because, well, we already had the medic and I said we weren't going to bring one, so then I lied to you guys. Let's see who we can bring instead. Do we have any scout-like people we can bring? We do. Well, I guess we'll bring Guy Fury on. He's going to be a shotgunner. He's going to have some dual shotgunning action. It's fine. Alright. Flanks armor, shotguns, fine. Um, laser pistol... I guess Battle Scanner and Arc Thrower. Yeah. First try. Alright, so that's what we're going to roll with here. And then I guess our Rocketeers still need to become better, more suited for being awesome. So we're going to attempt very, very much to make that a reality here. And there we go. A scope on our person. Pretty sure you're fine, Tack. And then our red shirt, of course, is a red shirt. And, hmm, make items available. We're missing one of our armor. There it is. And we got a laser rifle. Pistol's fine. And, unfortunately, no scope. 360 no scope, what's up? Alright, so boom, there we go. I like that. We're going to also equip you with a med kit, just on the off chance that that is actually important. You know, who knew med kits being important? Alright, I think we're ready to go. And let's launch this bad boy. And away we go! We have visual on the mission site. Begin the assault. Yeah. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian yeah, interior. The macho the man. No? Nothing? We track the alien craft to a landing site in a rural... Alright. And we're landing. We're in a... Giant forest. Are the little heroes of the forest? Yes. No. I read you, big sky. This was a landing. I read you through, big sky. All right, landing, not a crash. So heavier resistances. All over it. We are ready. We are set. We're like, bring it on, aliens. We want to kill you. Ooh, visual on the goods. Yeah. I'm gonna go hide behind a tree. It was a terrible mistake. The tree was a trap. The tree was a trap. The tree actually was a trap. We're in a horrible position now. Moving to position. All right. Well, let's see if we can unhorrible our position. I'm highly doubting it, but maybe. All right. What can we do? Uh, 
Okay, well, we're gonna fire and hope. Jace, doing work, boom. It's not great. It's not terrible. Watch the flanks, they're moving! Sir Hans Mejor is not in a good position. We're gonna hopefully put him in a better position here. 100% shot. Let's see if we can do something. Well, what kind of crit? Ooh, 80% crit. We probably have this then. Yeah, we do. Alright, well, that makes things a tad easier. Um, let's run and gun with Dragon Rider. And then hide behind here. I'm, if I get close enough, I'll take the shot. If not, we're going to go into Overwatch, which isn't great, but meh. Ras and Ghoul says they can shoot, but let's, let's face it, that is not reality. There is no shooting to be had from our yes, number one sir. gunner here. So we're going to move up. Should have known not to hide behind the tree. I failed at life, and now I'm going to suffer for it. Alright, I'm going to move over here. Hopefully there's not some other hidden creatures. Hopefully we survive. Hopefully they're like, oh my gosh, there was explosions and stuff. Run! But I doubt it, so there's definitely going to be some murder. Quite a bit of murder. Oh, Overwatch. Oh, please Overwatch too. No. Oh! You're blind! Finally, you missed one of your like 80 or 90% shots. You didn't, but it's okay. Three damage. We can live with that. We can totally tolerate that. That is not terrible at all. Alright, you're not the Overwatcher. You are, but that's not going to help us yet. Let's see. You? Yeah, alright. And we said good day, sir. I hope. Yeah, we did. Sweet, sweet, nice. Alright, so Red Shirt gets to not do anything. I was going to say gets to come up and play, but that is not the case. Commander J said, Oh, well, you know, I figured if I shot near the guy, that would be good enough. 72%, and boom. That had to leave a mark. And it was a shiny laser mark, so we're going to leave another shiny laser mark in your face. And now you're pretty much dead. There is literally no face, and we're, we're okay with that. Tax in an okay position. Um, 54%, maybe you're amazing. Naruto! Yeah, good job. Alright, sweet, sweet, nice. I like that. I'm going to move... Here, there's a guy Furion. And next turn, we should actually be able to grab that, which I am quite partial to. Time to motor. Get tack up to the front line. Nice. All right, and we're gonna get a Koro to over Order here, and hopefully move. in the next turn, she'll be able to heal up our missing health on our individual. Ooh, a dual muton slash ooh. Okay. Well, that is an interesting position to be in. I suppose. Um, I think we're going to move our sniper closer, and then we're going to lob a battle scanner over there so we can actually see where everybody's at. And we hopefully don't walk into the Overwatch and get owned. It's your birthday. That's what I heard. No, that's not what he said. All right. Rasangul, Rasangul. Let's see here. Yeah. I think suppression is going to be sweet, sweet, nice. So we're going to suppress. Some hollow targeting up and running. Hmm. Well, let's tag the meld. Okay. Okay. Move there. That did not trigger Overwatch, which I actually find to be somewhat interesting. Okay, um, let's move down into the little cubby hole too, and heal the wound, get you back to full health. So now we're sweet, sweet, nice in our positioning here. Our rocketeer needs to get a little bit better positioning as well. Yes, Commander. And I think that's going to be okay. Sir Hans Mehor needs to reload. Move him up. Hopefully he gets within range to actually be useful. Unfortunately not. And I'm not sure what we're going to do about attack the Dragon Rider here. 
But we have ourselves a whole heaping of trouble in the form of these wonderful, wonderful beings over here. With extreme and immense power. We really need to deal with them. They're floating and doing some overwatching. And it is sweet, sweet nice. Alright, so we have a small problem now. The problem being, well, we can suppress him. And it will remove the overwatch, allegedly. That's what people keep telling me now. I'm pretty sure I tried to remove overwatch with suppression before, and it did not work. So, if it doesn't work now, I'm calling malarkey on it, because I'm pretty sure I did that, and it did not work. Alright, let's see. Let's see if we can take out one of these guys. Nope. No such luck. Uh, red shirt has a shot. Okay, I don't know. They were right. So it doesn't remove the symbol, but it actually does remove the overwatching. Interesting. And good to know. Alright, well, let's see if we can make another amazing miracle shot of death with our rocket. Commander J says, good day, sir. Boom. Get on. Guy is super tanky. But he's also nearly dead. Um, well, I'm going to move here and hope that since we're sprinting, if we do trigger the overwatch, no, we didn't. All right. Okay, we're gonna sit it out again. Looks like there's gonna be some more overwatching. Oh, and a shot that's going to miss, which is good. It's raining death over here. It's raining death over here. Oh, he put himself into an interesting position. What's this guy gonna do? Gonna go an overwatch again? All right. Oh, we'll take it. Alright, I'm going to go for the long distance kill here. And... We missed. That's unfortunate. Well, it was a hope, though. Salamakalababal. Alright. I'm going to overwatch your face again. And by overwatch, I mean suppress, so you cannot overwatch yourself. Alright, we're going to trigger lightning reflexes. And they're going to miss, hopefully. And indeed they did. There's heavy fire in the zone. And then we're going to get hopefully a close enough to actually hit somebody. 61%. Are we flanked? Oh, we did a little bit of damage there with our gun. I think we're probably flanked. No, nope, nope, she's behind cover still apparently. Um... Hmm. Alright, we're going to go for a run and gun. Tax is going to put himself into a horrible, or herself into a horrible position, but we're going to go for it anyway, because that's what we do. We man up, and we make things happen. 48%, we said good day to the, the area next to you. Not great. Definitely not great. 47%, maybe the red shirt is better than Tack, it's true. It's true, the red shirt is a boss, Tack is, well, maybe a mini boss at best. It's fine. Alright, we'll move up with you, and boom! Down to two, fools. Down to two. Sergeant Mejor was trying to do work, but so far away. Finally made it into combat here. Let's see, 100% chance to take you out. We said good day. And that leaves you all alone, good sir. And you have a decision to make. You're going to hunker down. That is a good choice. One that I wholeheartedly endorse, because it also means that I can kill you pretty darn easily. Guy Furion said good day. Boom, down you go, and what? Alright, up next, we have a lot of reloading to do. So going to move here, going to reload... Good to go. We're going to move Koro okay. here and reload, of course. Ready to rock. Uh, Naruto Luxray, we're going to move here and reload as well. Rock and roll. Commander Jace, Copy we're going to reload. <coughs> uh, excuse me. 
Sorry, that cough caught me off guard. It coughed me off guard. <laughs> I know. It wasn't great, guys. It wasn't great. But it simply was what it was. My throat is struggling. I woke up today with a sore throat, so all that snow yesterday must have beat me up a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. Ten four. I will survive. It's fine. I can just I can just do voices the entire. Oh, there's a melt canister back there. I thought it was further over. Very nice. I'm going for it. We are totally exposing ourselves again. Oh no, you're supposed to run in, not out. Oh crap. All right. Well, Roger that. I guess we're going for broke. Um. Something about his his TiVo. It's fine. Fifty-seven percent. Boom. Get crushed. Attack cannot do much. So Already we'll move attack over here for the eventual regoose. That's right. Oh, we're like outside the ship. Hmm, with the review. It's not On great. Try to get inside the ship with the review. See here. Uh, I think that's an okay spot. And our snipper. Our snipper is going to move here. Well, if Guy can tank it, we'll be okay. If he was smart, he would, yeah, so he would run, well, I'd say even further. Oh, Overwatch. That, I think, is a huge mistake, but okay. On my way. Oh, I should have grabbed the thing before I did that. We're at like point blank, 90% shot miss. Incoming I mean, oh, but everybody has told me that it is the same as it was before. Okay, and boom! Are you kidding me? One shot, one kill. Well played. That's it. Good work, so super hyper aggression scared the enemy tactics right out of the enemy, and they're like, "Oh my gosh, I don't know what to do!" Throwing their hands up in the air, flailing it around. Ah, we're getting attacked by the XCOM. So apparently, our reputation has preceded us, and yeah, we're we're looking pretty good. And that is another successful mission, and a pretty early on one as well. So our troops are making it look easy. Wow, we will take Let's that. Promotions for everyone except our rocketeer which is kind of ironic because that was the whole reason I brought him along <laughs> oh well he did work that time without him it would have been much much more difficult so we have a new person to add we again we want anything but a rocketeer and we don't want either of these two so please don't give me a rocketeer all right an infantry I still want an engineer that's what I'm looking for so once I get to the engineer side of things I will be happy I need like three of them I mean, I don't love the engineer class, but eh, it's okay. I want another gunner as well. All right, so let's see here. Lance Corporal, low profile. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. I could do the pistol thing. I don't care about the pistol thing, guys. And all of you are like, ah, you should totally make a guy with a pistol, amazing, blah blah blah. I don't care. I don't care. I simply don't care. Hollow targeting with a scout. Um, reaction shot. Nope. Nope. Alright, well, we're going to do hollow targeting. So if we get in close, we shoot. If we don't kill, other people have a good job or a good chance of being able to finish it up. Alright, our corporal is promoted to sergeant. Confers 10 critical hit for enemy within sight. I like that. Suppression. Eh. We're going to go with the uh, aggression. I like that. Alright, sergeant. Attack. Oh, we have this again. Alright, well, we gave Liara the face tank, this one, here. So... I'm gonna go with rapid fire. So if he gets in close, he can just... Or if she gets in close, she can just melt him. And then we have Rassin Nuke Ghoul. And let's take a look. Heat ammo is always gonna be my deal. Sorry, guys. Sorry. 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 Alright, so there we go. It is done. A bunch of fatigued fools, but that's okay. I don't think we brought a commanding officer in on that one. It's kind of probably not great, but eh, it is what it is. I don't know. Don't talk to me, lady. Commander. Stop it. Dr. I've B, shut your face. Let's just visit the, uh, 
Well, the gray market here. No, there's nothing we can sell. I'd like to get some of these things going. It's fine. All right. I guess it's time to do mission control and scan for some more activity. Some meld for some money. We will dispatch those immediately. And three days before the advanced beam is done, the marksman... Ooh, I'm, I'm looking I'm looking pretty good here. If we can make it three days, and we can't yet. Yet, but soon. Well, we have to go to... Is it Canada? Which we know the actual base is not in Canada. Let's see here. Go to the situation room. And we're going to have to send someone on the covert operation. We're going to go with the soldier's list. Soldier list here. I think Dale's, like, out, isn't he? I think Dale got wrecked. Yeah, he did. Well, crap. He was our he was our guy. He was our dude. He was our man. All right. Well, we need somebody with a lot of hit points. All right. There we go. It's gonna be James Hebert. Oh, we can't bring the heavies. That's right. I forget that every time. Apparently, it's one of those things that I just simply do. Uh oh. We did have we have two people we need to name. It takes hmm. a serious pair to go face to face with one of those things. All right, let's see. Who do we have? Guy Furion would have been okay. Um, don't really want to send him along because I don't feel like he deserves anything. But I suppose it's just not wasting one of our people. Yeah, you can go. You can go, good sir. We'll even we'll even load you out with a laser pistol because we are just that nice. And we're gonna give you one of these. And I suppose we could give I you a grenade. You. Return to base for debriefing. There we go. We're gonna send you out on the mission. Get. 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 I looked for somebody to rename and I couldn't find the name, so I feel bad now. All right, I'm gonna actually. Good doctors have completed their respective research into the melt substance. We should consider building either a genetics or cybernetics lab facility to Ooh. take advantage of these new developments. Really. All right, guys, genetics and cybernetics, that's the thing. And I'm going to go with uh, cybernetics to start with because I might go both. Uh, last time when I played Enemy Within, I only went gene modification. So I want to see what the other side has to offer. So, let's see. I want to take a look at the foundry. I can't build another foundry, huh? Foundry... I can't build a cybernetics thing? Really? I thought they said I could. They lied to me. They lied to me. Um, can I get information on this? The foundry? No. Hmm. Well, all right, that's fine. Um, 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 I don't know. That's fine. We're going to do this. No, I can't. I can't deal with it anyway. I'm gonna ignore it. Contact detected. How close are we? We're gonna ignore it just for a second. Uh, advanced beam lasers are there. You know what, guys? We'll deal with that in the next episode. Either way, this episode was successful. Next one's gonna be pretty difficult. Let's see who we're gonna be able to send. I'm hoping we have a decent supply of people. Well, looks like we might have to hurt some people again. I should be able to last long enough to get Henariel up. Um. It's unfortunate. We'll see if I, I'll test it and see if I can get uh, these guys up. Yeah, even if I can't do the mission, it's fine. I'm gonna try though. Um, we have Lance Elliot, so we have our best medic available. We have Hungry Punker, who can actually go through and be our guy, our gunner. I'd like two gunners, but I don't have the second Gatling gun thing yet. I think we can make it work. We can send Odie in as an assault class. Um, tax down for now. Yeah, we can make it work. It, it shouldn't be too bad. We should be able to do it without hurting people purposefully. So, we'll see. Either way, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of XCOM Long War. Until the next time, guys, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.